My name is Nick Hayden and this is my 62 Chevy Nova. I love the early Novas. I've always loved first gen Chevy Novas. I mean, maybe favorite car. So we got to a point, I got to a point where it was time to start looking for one and we, my dad and I looked for one for over a year probably and we finally found this one up north in San Francisco and it had a 4.8 swap in it and stock, pretty much everything stock. It had like trailer airbags in the rear so it was riding on a cloud. It was so sketchy to put power down to but anyways, it was fun. We found it, it was a cool car, perfect for us. We brought it home and uh, started working on it from there. My dad has always had badass rides. He, he probably wishes more than I do that he still had some of those. Everything you could think of, you know, the old Camaros, the early Vets, and you know, boats, off-road, everything. We've always been involved in that kind of stuff. And uh, my brother and I have just grown up with that in our blood, I guess you could say. Once I had in my mind that it was possible that I could use this car for kind of a play toy in autocross and road course, I didn't know that it was even an option. I was just happy cruising this thing, you know. And so I went with the IFS and the TCI 4Link and uh, the improvement is insane. The way the thing drives is, it's crazy. Every time I drive it, I'm amazed. And it just, come on, it's a 50 year old granny car. It should not do what it does. So basically, they, you know, you hear the Junkyard 5.3. It was just that I found a guy that was building a Project Nova actually on the side and he wanted to just dump the whole thing and it had some things that I needed like the I did it column and the 5.3 liter I had mentioned that I had the 4.8 in it when I got the car but you know 4.8 5.3 why not right so uh, we kind of got that and no in building engine experience you know we just I learned as I went my dad and my brother and I so we took the whole thing apart and we did a cam, uh, springs, push rods, high pressure oil pump, uh, timing chain, just the little stuff and uh, it's running good. I mean literally put the key in and go. Never any issues, knock on wood. Wheels were kind of a nightmare because I, I knew a look that I wanted. What I ended up with was a TSW wheel, which is a BMW wheel, and uh, it just happened to fit. Nobody wanted to sell it to me because it's a BMW wheel going on a Chevy and it just, it doesn't fit, right? But it did fit perfectly and I ended up with 17 inch by eight. 255 in the rear and a 245 in front. By today's standards, very small tires. The first time I went out to an SCCA event, uh, lots of people are very helpful and it's very cool and some of the veteran guys were like, here, do you want me to hop in your car and I could, we could test it out? And I'm like, mm, uh, okay, and they were offering to drive, you know, so I was like, this car is barely driven down the road and I put it together. So it's kind of, and uh, this guy, local Tom Barry, jumps in the car and just starts hammering the thing instantly. I'm like, dude, how do you know that the wheels aren't going to fall off of this, you know what I mean? I just got this thing on the road. but. Uh, Amazed instantly. First thought, this should not be going this fast around the corner. Stop, 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 slow down. You know, and uh, basically from there on, it's just been now I do that to people when I give them rides and they're sitting there going, What the f are you doing? You know, it's, uh, it's fun. It's been awesome. Basically, the thing has just been bolted together and ran and ran really good. But as I gain experience driving, I want to make tweaks and try to get every you know, second or half second or less of time on the autocross course. So uh, we've kind of focused on the rear four link and got some big beefy arms in the back from TCI and try to get the car lower in the back and just little tricks that they've helped me out with to get the thing handling better, added a rear sway bar and uh, big old Johnny joints on those four link arms. Okay, so. right now we're getting a little, little secret sauce up front sprinkled on with a bigger front sway bar. So, and we're going racing this weekend. So I'm looking forward to see what that's going to do. And uh, we've been talking about this secret big front sway bar for a long time. And I've even been told it's not real. It does not exist, but it does. Like they have the pro touring and the uh, torque armor suspension and the four link rear suspension. This car with the four link is hanging right in there with the torque arm. I don't know if they probably don't want to hear that, but it, it's hanging right there. So TCI has helped me all along the way. And uh, other than that, it's just my brother, my dad and I, and I couldn't have built the car without them or put the car together without them. So uh, it's been a team effort for sure. 
and I just look forward to everything that comes in the future.